Hey Yari friends, it's me Kayla, and let me just first off say, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I brought you along for an adventure. So my husband um, sits in the den and in the recliner, and so he had told me that he needed a small pillow, not very thick, um, to go up under his head so he can see the TV better at the angle from where we have the recliner and TV. So, um, I just never made him one, and I finally decided that, um, I would make him one. Today is actually his birthday, and so I'm trying to make this before he gets home from work tonight, which will be about 11 p.m. So, um, I, I mulled over ideas and could never come up with anything, and then, um, I had done this little piece of bacon and so I thought well I could just do a bacon pillow and so this is what I come up with this is my sheet of bacon and um, let me Elijah just lay that right there and I'll call you in a minute to come help me with that thanks so this is my sheet of bacon <laughs> a piece of material bacon that I had um, made for this project so each, each little section is one piece of bacon, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of bacon here. And my idea is to make this into a pillow and to sew the two eggs on the bacon. And um, so anyway, I didn't want to, I didn't want to knit another piece of material to go on the back, so I went on and adventure looking for some material and the best I could come up with to match it was this coffee material which is great he likes coffee um, so my thoughts are I'm going to cut this and sew it to the back of this to make a pillow now as I said I have never done anything like this before I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're doing it together. So, in my first attempt, like, like this is the very first time I've used this mat, the very first time I've used this roller, and the very first time I've used this cutter. So, I'm very new to this. So, what I'm going to do is cut my material where I have about an inch or so around it. I'm going to look at an inch and see if I feel like that's enough. I know I want to cut this edge off of this material. Okay, so trying to just lay that flat without it being stretched in any direction. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to just, since I've never even cut with this cutter before, I probably should have cut something ahead of time to, like, get a feel for it. That would have been smart, wouldn't it? I'm just going to do it because I'm a wingy kind of person. So. <coughs> it cut. <laughs> Alright. So, I also cut that with my left hand. So, hey. Okay. Now. Get this on here. Alright. So I think what I want to do is just cut that with an edge around it. Maybe about an inch. Around it. Let's see that that looks about like 
Alright, I'm just gonna cut. I mean, it's gonna end up wherever how it ends up. You know what? I think I will cut the top first. I think I'll cut up there first. Nothing. All right, now I'm gonna cut around the edge over here. moving on me, but, ah, it really did move, because I wasn't holding it, I can tell you what, this rotary cutter is really, really sharp. Butchering this material up in pieces. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm just going to lay this to the side. And this thing is sharp, sharp. So I'm going to close that off. Alright, so. Yeah. Now, so I have my material. It's not even cut perfect. Um, I don't know. It's going to go on the back of this. So I'm going to um, cut it way too big because I wanted to give myself room to fold it over and um, iron it and I like to just give myself extra room for anything I do whether it's with yarn um, the few times I've played with material I just want to give myself extra room so I'm going to fold this over and iron that <clears throat> I'm going to um, clip it so I'll know how much I need to fold it over so I'm not clipping it on the knitted part I'm just clipping the material There's probably a, you know, more technical way of doing this. Here, I'm going to slide that out so I can... put this on. Okay. So hopefully that's going to help me figure out this part. And I'm going to iron this down.
Hmm. Well. After I clip it, I'm going to lay my material back on my bacon slab back on top and see that if it's going to fit or not before I iron it. Okay, I'm just going to um, lay my bacon on top of this and see if this is all roughly the same size. The material might be just a little bit bigger, but I'm going to sew this inside out and then turn it right side out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is iron my material. Alright, I'm back and I'm going to attempt to iron this. Um, I'm not going to get out the ironing board just to do this little thing. So I just put a towel down and actually um, I had to go buy an iron to do this project. Jody's the only one that does any ironing and I have no idea where he put the iron. So, and I don't feel like this is heating up. As cold as can be. So, I can't read. Oh. I don't know. So, I'm going to get Elijah to help me figure out how to turn this iron on, and I'll be back. Okay. The iron is finally getting hot, so I'm going to try to just iron these edges down. Sure, this is a better. There's a better way to do this, but I just want to do it the simplest way for me today. If I was doing a big a big project, I probably would pull out the iron bo ironing board and set it up close to the iron sewing machine and do all that kind of stuff. That's ironed. My edges are ironed down well enough. So now I need to get the sewing machine. Okay, so I have my bacon slab pinned to my material. And I'm not sure I did this right because I'm worried about these edges 
here, not knowing if they're laying right when I'm going around the sewing machine. Because I feel like I need this side up. So I don't know if I pinned this right. I have no idea. I'm leaving this part right here as an opening to turn it right side out because I've got it uh, right side to right side. So I can flip it out when I finish. So I think I have it pinned correctly. I don't know. We will find out. Okay. So here is my sewing machine that I got in May when Elijah graduated. And because, um, you know, I was going to have all this free time and I was going to start sewing. <laughs> I did have a sewing machine before, but it never worked right. <coughs> it was an older sewing machine. And so I picked this one up at Walmart in hopes to start sewing. So this is my first sewing project. And I'm having a little trouble here because I don't know how to turn it on. Elijah? Can you help me figure out how to turn this on? Oh, yeah, there's a phone. Huh? Yeah, there's a power cord, don't it? Wow. <laughs> <coughs> okay, we'll be back when we figure this out. We have power. Have you lost all confidence in me yet? <laughs> so, I'm not really sure about running this material through here. I just, I just really don't know. It seems so bulky. And I don't know if my bottom panel that I've got. I don't know how to tell if that's still folded correctly. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I know that I'm going to go forward and then I want to back stitch. I wonder if that's the back stitch button. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna find out. I want to put that leg down. <laughs> All right. Just gonna see if I can pull this up to me a little bit more. Oh, I'm way too far in. Mm. a knob or any element. Uh, Father is a complete mess in there. So nothing is sewed. I really don't want to sew this by hand, but I don't know how to make the bobbin work correctly.
I'm just going to try something real quick. It's locked up. So on to plan B. Okay, plan B. I don't know how to work the sewing machine. So I'm gonna just sew this up with on thread. And I'm not sure how this is going to work either, but I will give it a try. Okay, I'm back, and I sewed all the way around this, from here all the way around and back to here. It's not pretty at all, but it's sewed. <laughs> so now we're going to try to flip this right side out. It's not so pretty, but you, know, you shouldn't see all that from this side. Corners turned. I'm not going to stuff this too thick because he wants a thin pillow. I had made one pillow before and it was too, um, too bulky, thick for him. So I'm not going to stuff it too much. <coughs> okay, so that's the coffee side. the bacon side. That's okay. I mean, it probably looked better if it had been done on the sewing machine. Or if someone who knew what they were doing was doing it. But hey, it is what it is. I'm just going to make sure these corners are pushed out good. So, I mean, it's, it's no gouts, so I guess that's something to be glad, proud for. <laughs> so, we learned today that I don't know how to use a sewing machine. And now, let's stuff the pillow. some in and then put my hand in there and get it all the way to the back corners.
here. I'm gonna still like put a lot in there. So get my hand in there. I can move it all around. Hand around trying to get it in the corners good. He thinks this looks like bacon. Try to get this for corners before it gets too full. He doesn't want it too thick, so I'm trying to keep it on the thinner side. I'm just making sure it's in the corner to good again. Sorry.
So now I've had it stuffed, and I think it's stuffed enough. Like I said, he doesn't want it overstuffed. He wants it to be a, um, or he don't know I'm making this. He wants a pillow that's not so thick. So I think this will be great for him. And now I'm going to stitch this up and trying to make it neat as possible. Uh. All right, so maybe I can stitch that up and make it look neat. And um, I'll be back. Okay, I've got my pillow all sewed up, and it looks pretty good. Of course, this is where I sewed it up on the end. It's mm, a little bunchy, but it's going to be okay. He probably won't like it anyway. <laughs> I gave him a cane for his birthday, and a camouflage cane. I went in Walmart to the pharmacy area to get something. <coughs> Excuse me. And I saw canes, and there was a camouflage one. So I picked it up and got it for him. And then when I got home, I said, I got you something for your birthday. And I gave it to him. And he said, he made this like a horrible look on his face. And he said, you got me a cane? I mean, he does walk with a cane. So, but anyway. <laughs> so now I'm going to sew eggs on here. And I'm just, I'm going to put this one close to this area. I really, since this is the, I would really put them over here somewhere, but I want to take attention away from this, so I'm going to put my egg over here. So let me thread up my needle. Let's see where I can place this egg. Okay, and I'm just going to I'm just going to stitch it on. Yeah. Something like that. I always knock my first stitch. Alright. I'm just going to go all the way around and stitch this egg on. And then stitch the other egg on. Can't really get it a good angle without picking up the pillow. <laughs> so it is as it looks, doing it on a table like this. Finishing this up just in time. It is nine o'clock. He gets off work at ten, so he'll be home about eleven. So I'm getting this done just in time. What I'm doing when I'm sewing this on is just picking up a top stitch there and bringing it up through the egg. So I'm going to turn the camera off and get these finished sewed on, and I'll show it to you in the end. Okay, so I have my eggs sewed on, and that's my making pillow with two eggs, and the other side is coffee print. I'm going to do a lint roller over it to get the stuffing fuzz off. 
But that's my pillow, and I'll give it to him when he gets home from work and see what he has to say about it. Thanks for watching.